Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's a larger than life personality, an internet sensation with millions, I said millions, following her each and every move. She is currently turning her social media success into the acting world. Please welcome Lala Milan. Yeah! <laughs> So, uh, it used to be Lala Scissorhands, yes. and now it's Lala Milan. I mean, you know, you, you're coming up in the world. What, yes. what, 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 tell us about this change. Well, Lala Scissorhands was more so hair, and I had it in college, so I feel like I've evolved a lot since then. Ah, okay. <laughs> she on her grown woman thing yes. now. Yes, I'm mature now, yes. if you will. Yes. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, Lala Milan. Yes, yes. ma'am. You've had so many viral moments mm -hmm. now. How did you get your start? Mm. <laughs> Literally, my first viral video was Rat Queen, a remake of Fetty Wap's video, and yes, from there I just I was taken that. off. Yes, I was working a job then. <laughs> <laughs> what made you like even s decide to do that parody? Um, I was bored at work while my manager was off playing golf and I was making him money. So I was yes. like, you know what? <laughs> Let me go ahead and do something that I enjoy. Right, right, you know? right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. next thing you know, shh, it's everywhere. Love it, love it. So how do you feel about you know, some seasoned comedians mm -hmm. talking about social media-esque comedians, mm -hmm. like, and having the type of success um, that social media comedians have. And what are your thoughts on that? Because sometimes they're like, eh. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's understandable because they have a traditional mindset and social media is new. So if you don't have an open mindset, you'll kinda you won't understand it. But if you're smart like Will Smith, you would join it and grow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, but they also say that these social media comedians have no stage presence. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on that? Or is that even a direction you're trying to go into? Um, some of them don't have stage presence. Um, but some of the seasoned comedians don't have stage presence either. And then oh. there's that. Right. Yeah. Right. So, and that's with all due respect. So I feel like it's based on the individual, you right. know? Mm -hmm. um, but that is something that I'm actually going into. And um, I really look forward to it. So, yeah. yeah. So now that you're going into it, who mm -hmm. are you looking at? Like, I look at Wendy every single day. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So who do you, who, who are your comedic influences? I love Lunell. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> I yes. love Martin Lawrence mm -hmm. and um, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. So those yeah. are my top Those three. are some good ones right yeah. there. Yeah. They're amazing. Okay, but now you're acting. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I am. Let's, let's go there. <laughs> okay, you're on Boomerang. Yes. Oh, my God. How did God you is land good. your role on Boomerang and tell us about your character. Girl, I landed my role by auditioning just like everybody else um, and the truth is because I'm a social media influencer, they wanted to box me into that. They mm -hmm. weren't trying to um, give me the role, you oh, know, wow. so mm -hmm. um, that was a blessing, you know, but uh, my character, her name is Tia. Uh -huh. She is a trained dancer, but she's actually a stripper as well. Uh -huh. All right, she, yeah. she, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. she's a uh, vegan, she's a lesbian, oh, she's wow. pro-black, she's pro-woman. She's all over the place and she's very woke. Yeah, oh, yay. Yay. I love her like already. Yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> lot. I love her character. Okay, so Lena Waithe and Halle Berry yes. are executive producers of Boomerang. Yes. Have they been able to impart knowledge to you? or have what you been able to interact? Yeah. Literally, um, we haven't started working with them directly oh, okay, just yet. Okay. So we've mm -hmm. been doing the technicals things first. Uh -huh. So um, once we actually start filming, I'm sure they will. But Lena is amazing. I've had direct contact with her a lot. And she's the one who actually had enough, you know, faith in me. And she was, she, every time I encounter her, she's like, we're going to work together. We're going to work yes. together. And I'm like, Let's go. I mean, you are just doing the daggone I mean, thing. Bro, you know, yes. just doing it. So also talk to us about not yes. just your social media platform, uh -huh. not just your boomerang platform, uh -huh. but you were also a host on the Al Rucker Show. Tell us about that. Yes, so I'm into radio as well. Come on, girl. Um, <laughs> just doing it, doing it, doing it well. Yes, so literally I've always wanted to do radio. Um, I feel like my improv is very quick. I'm on my toes, and I just enjoy being able to talk and people recognize me from my voice yeah so and I love it it's amazing right when you look back on all of this sitting in your office I doing know. a fatty wop parody now mm -hmm. you're on a show executive produced by Lena Waithe and Halle <laughs> Berry and you're continuing to rise what do you look back and say to yourself about your glow up 
I look back and say, you should have started giving God the credit earlier. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's high five yeah. one. We're going to high five on that one. Wow. Yeah. Expound on that just a little bit. Um, when I moved to L.A., stuff was really, really shaky. Um, and I was like, you know what? I have to get my mind right, mm -hmm. and I have to align myself in all aspects of life. So I started working out. I started eating great, and I started going to church more and praying more and everything like that. And as soon as I started doing that, I landed the role, and I'm like, all right, everybody gonna get this testimony. Yes. Oh, that, oh, congratulations. <laughs> that is so yes. fantastic. Mm -hmm. So fantastic. So do we have a, I heard that you're doing some stuff with Dr. Heaven <laughs> down to the Instagram. <laughs> we got a little piece of it. Let's take a look at it. No, we don't? We don't have it? We'll have a piece. We'll talk a little bit about that Okay, that no worries. So literally, while I'm here in Atlanta filming um, for my role, I want to reconnect with a lot of the people who I love in Atlanta. Right. So I'm just bringing them. I love Dr. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing them to my platform. Yeah, you know, so everybody who's down to do the collaborations and stuff, I'm working. I don't care if you're a dentist, a gynecologist, a teacher. I'm trying to work. Yes, you know? good. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank everything. you so much. You. She's Thank doing you. the thing. Y'all make sure you uh, catch up with Lala on her Instagram by going to at Lala Milan down to the gram. Oh.